Hey everybody, welcome to Sailing Tips. Today we're going to raise the mast on this F82R trimaran and I'm going to explain to you some of the optimizations we've made uh, to make it quicker and easier. Stick around. The F82R is a, a racing oriented Ian Farrier design. It's just under 27 feet long, uh, 8.2 meters. And uh, it's very similar in uh, size and stature to the uh, F27 produced by uh, Corsair Marine, although the F82 um, is a fair bit lighter. Uh, in any case, the uh, mast raising uh, process uh, should be very similar to any uh, Farrier uh, or Corsair design. The first thing I want to point out is that we store the mast on these uh, cross members uh, between the beams. And uh, the reason we do that is because it makes a, a great uh, shelter in the winter. You can put a tarp over it. Uh, and it keeps the boat clean and dry and creates a nice uh, workspace underneath. One of the keys to uh, making the boat as uh, quick and easy uh, to rig as possible is to um, save as much effort uh, between times that you're raising and lowering the mast. What I mean by that is to uh, leave as much uh, rigging in place as possible uh, so that uh, when you go to launch the boat next time, you don't have to re-rig a whole bunch of stuff. We also tie the shrouds and halyards in place uh, with these little bits of blue line that we've cow hitched uh, to various points uh, on the diamond rigging. Uh, we just leave the blue lines in place when we're sailing uh, and then they're right there when we're ready to uh, put the boat back on the trailer. We dry sail this boat so it's really important that we're able to um, rig it and unrig it as quickly as possible. Uh, we can typically get from the trailer to the start line in about an hour and so we leave everything in place uh, like the uh, mast rotation controllers here, uh, the jib sheets, and the halyards uh, through these shivs um, at the mast base uh, because then we don't have to take them out and put them back in every single time. Every 30 seconds you save rigging the boat means it's another 30 seconds you save when you're unrigging it at the other end. In addition to leaving the halyards in place, we also leave the mast raising wires uh, in place, which you can see in this pad eye on the left here. Uh, and uh, the purpose of leaving them in place is once again, so you don't have to rig them and unrig them but they also keep the mast from sliding forward on the bunks. As you can see, these bunks uh, are all in perfect alignment uh, with the roller at the stern. We also leave things like our dock lines, those black lines there, uh, the spinnaker sheets, uh, the blue line, and uh, the spinnaker uh, downhaul, uh, which is that white line. We leave them all in place too uh, when the boat's on the trailer. For the shrouds, uh, we just uh, leave those in place too. Uh, run them up over a winch, uh, down through a cam cleat, and then we put all the lines in these cubby holes. At the aft end, uh, we use the main sheet uh, tensioned against a boat hook uh, to stabilize uh, the aft roller. Uh, and as you can see here, we also have a strop uh, around the rudder uh, to a pad eye on the back of the roller, and that just keeps the rudder from falling down onto the road, uh, which it did one time. For rearward visibility, we've added uh, red retro-reflective tape uh, to various points of the boat, including the top of the mast. And we have a streamer uh, on a shackle attached to the main halyard. And if we forget to take that off, it just slides down as we raise the mast. Another simple thing is just uh, attaching the mast uh, with these uh, lines uh, with trucker hitches in them. And you just give this a quick tug, pull it out, um, and uh, your mast is free. Um, Best of all, the line is hanging here on the other side uh, for when you go to uh, reattach the mast and then you don't forget to tie the mast down. Uh, similarly, uh, we've got these guys here. Remember I talked about them earlier. Pull them off. There you go. Everything is free now. Once we've undone all the uh, blue lines holding the halyards and shrouds, the next step is to remove this rear uh, cross member beam and it's got wing nuts on it uh, to make it quick and easy. We need to remove this uh, to raise the mast. And uh, because it's in alignment with the front one and the back one, it just slides out. So now you can see the mast is supported by this uh, forward beam cross member and uh, the roller in the back, and that's it. So the next step is to simply uh, roll the mast back. The good thing about this setup is you can just put the mast down and rest uh, if you get a little bit tired.
So this is the final uh, resting place here before we go and pin uh, the mast uh, onto the pivot point down there. So at this point, uh, the mast is on the uh, mast raising pivot and that ball is going to go into that socket and uh, the mast is resting on the roller back there. So we're just going to add the gin pole and go ahead and raise it. This gin pole just slides onto the uh, mast rotator. Okay, so now what we've got here is we've got the uh, screecher halyard uh, to the gin pole and then we have another line attached to the screecher halyard up there. You can see the shackle. Um, that line goes down to the bow of the boat and uh, we have a, um, a block there at the bow of the boat and then we go back to a cabin top winch. Uh, many people like to use the trailer winch uh, but we like this method because it allows us to um, launch the boat in the water or on the trailer, uh, which is really handy um, if there's overhead wires or something at the, at the boat launch or there's a bunch of angry fishermen. Nobody wants angry fishermen. So in this particular uh, shot, we can see the base of the mast, um, the gin pole, and um, the mast raising wires. We've also added the uh, spinnaker and jib halyards uh, as additional side stays uh, to keep the mast in column as it goes up. We've also got these uh, blue lines that go to the top of the gin pole to keep it in line as well. So the last thing we have to do before we raise the mast is remove this forward support. Then we start winching. There we go, the mast is up. You can see our shrouds are in the fully extended position. When we unfold the boat, we'll pull these snap shackles down to the pad eyes on the aft beam to pull the eight inches of slack out uh, required for unfolding the boat. Now the only thing we'd have to do is um, put the forestay on and uh, take the gin pole off and uh, we're done. So uh, now uh, to take the mast down, it's really just a matter of uh, reversing the process, like this.
here we have the beauty of doing this from the cockpit uh, because I can give the mass a little tug to center it on the roller before I let it all the way down. There we go, she's down. Some people might debate the safety of doing this from the cockpit, uh, but I'm actually uh, off center quite substantially. Uh, and so it would be really difficult for the mass to fall on me, especially given all of the, the side to side uh, supports that we have. Uh, things would have to go really wrong for the mast to fall on me and uh, like I said doing it from the cockpit is really nice because you can do it either on the trailer uh, or in the water. Uh, we prefer on the trailer um, but sometimes you just have to do it on the water because um, there's overhead wires at the ramp. So next thing we're going to do is uh, take the gin pole off Then we're going to put this uh, forward cross beam back in place. And then the next thing to do is to uh, unpin the mast from the pivot and uh, lift it up and start sliding it back forward. Now I start moving the mast back forward. Once again, the beauty of this cross beam is that you can rest. There. Now we know the mast is back in place uh, because the mast raising wires are, are tight over this beam and they prevent the mast from uh, moving forward uh, any further and uh, flying through the cab of the truck uh, if we have to stop suddenly. So the next thing we have to do is put this, uh, put this cross beam back in place. should just slide into place here uh, given that it's in perfect alignment uh, with the forward beam and the roller. Just, uh... And then uh, put the wing nuts on. And then we just have to uh, tidy up our rigging, uh, tie the mast on, uh, and uh, we're good to go. So uh, there we are, uh, all tidy and back together. Um, if you uh, liked this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave any comments uh, in the comments field below. Uh, and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.